y'all. It's April here. And today I wanted to go over how to create an audience. Typically, um, there's really only two ways to create an audience, but if you're boosting an ad, there's another way to create an audience. So I wanted to kind of go over all of those options um, because I know it can kind of be a little confusing when one person creates it here and really you can create it in another area. So that is what we're going to go over today. So um, just to kind of get into it, I am um, in my ads manager at the moment. So I went to business.facebook.com slash ads manager. Um, you can also see that it's kind of right up here and you may even be able to see it when you scroll down here. So ads manager, I know there's multiple ways to or different interfaces for Facebook. So I know it can be um, interesting <laughs> to say the least. So we're gonna go in here to create or yeah, we'll create a campaign. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do traffic. And you can name it however you like. And then I'm gonna come in here because we're going off audiences. Audiences are within the ad set. Sometime, uh, sometimes I just intertwine or intermix the two words, ad set and audience. Um, but there is a little more things you have to do in the ad set, which is like budget and such sometimes. So, but anyway, so we're down here, you scroll down to the audience and here is where you can create new audiences or you can even select old audiences that you have saved in other places. And I will show you where those audiences are saved. Um, so here you can do create audience. You can, um, create a couple different types of audiences. So if we're creating an audience based off maybe your website, your Facebook, um, who's been on your Facebook page, who's been on your website, who's who's on your email list. To me, those are considered warm, um, warm audience. Some people even consider that an, a hot audience because these are people that have already been proven that they like your stuff. Um, what could even be hotter is that you know these are certain people that have purchased from you. So maybe you have on your email list where they are being tagged a certain way because they have purchased an item from you and maybe even more specifically something that is really related to the item that you're about to run ads for now. That would be to me a super hot audience because I know that there, there's a high likely chance that they may purchase. But the thing is, when you do have those types of really detailed audiences, you want to make sure that you are you have a large enough audience. Um, I think it's like 500, 1,000 and more. Really, you really want to have at least 1,000 um, in that, that audience size before you do something like that. Um, but anyway, so this is a way to get it. So let's just for, um, we can do website. And then um, I, so whatever my pixel website is on, and I believe it's on my aprilhardeman.com website, this pixel is going to, and then I can do all website visitors, or I can even say specific um, web pages that they have been, or there might've been a time frame, or how long they've been on that page or um, website. Um, it can kind of, and then this is a page view event. So if you have the pixel on multiple websites, this could be a really good one because this is just based off any page view within whatever has this pixel. Um, let's see. I tend to do all website visitors unless I'm doing um, a different type and I, I can share videos on how to do that as well. Uh, so, and then I like to really get this as far out as I can, oh, 180 days, summer 360, summer 180 days. I don't ever remember. And then I would title it website visitors. I may even say like what the website is. I may have said that in the beginning. Um, and sometimes I put dates. So spe specifically if I'm adding an email list into this, then I will do it there too. Um, so these are how, and another way you can kind of do like a detailed audience. So like before you may have seen where I did um, horse magazines, you could also do um, like a natural horsemanship one. So, and like I said, sometimes this takes a second to register. So, and if you're really confident that that's a detailed interest, just be patient with it and try it again, or just try a different word. Um, so double Dan horse. got down under. These are just people that are interested in this and this, these are all similar interests. So um, sometimes you don't, you don't want to go too crazy with 
putting too many different types of interests together. So, but I mean like that. So what, what if we talk about there's different horse associations and then there's different horsemanship, you know, people. So there might be dressage people, there might be, um, um, eventing or so on and so forth. And, um, and I know that there's some people that are not really just focusing on horses. These are just some ideas to give you. Um, so we would keep the magazines as one natural horsemanship as one, um, a disciplines as one. So then we can run a lot of different types of audiences within, the, cause you can have multiple audiences within this campaign and that'll just help you detail more down to what your target audience is. Um, what they like and such. So that's why I kind of try to say in within the similar um, type here. So I know there's a few more. So even um, if you don't like some of these philosophies, it might be people that have liked them in the past. And if that's something you're working on in yours, then these would be a really great um, option. So and again, like I said, do not check this box. And because this is a colder audience, we are doing this traffic. So if we did this in conversions, this wouldn't even be an option. All right. So that is one way to make an audience. Um, you can even get further down into here. Um, you can change the age limit. Some people like to say with like in 15 to 20 um, difference between the ages. Don't make it too wide. Um, and then, of course, if you're only working with women or just men, you want to put that in here. Um, let's see. And then, let's see. Okay. So another way you can create audiences. So let's say we were, um, let me just click out of this. So that's one way you can create an audience. And then another way that you can create an audience. So if you came over here to your three little buttons, you could do audiences and then I usually do open a new tab or you can just click on it, it's up to you. So I had already opened it in a new tab and you can see I have a couple audiences here. A lot of times I, this is how I create some audiences before I put them inside the campaign. So um, let's see. Um, I'll do, excuse me. I'll do a website one and it's just gonna be all my visitors for 180 days. And then I'm gonna say April Hardeman website, 180 days. And that's my audience and my audience size. And I know all that and I can create a lookalike bit right here. Um, so, and I will go over the differences between warm, cold and lookalike and what's the beneficial and such. So, but right now we're just going over how you can create different types of audiences. Um, let's see. And then, um, so now you see that here. So you can create as many of these audiences as you want. So even if you're trying to do like a, a detailed interest one, which I do prefer sometimes to make these within the actual campaign, but if you wanted to really make it in here, you just would drop down and do the same thing pick the location, the age, and um, what, you're, um, what you're trying to target. But you can see I already have like a horse magazine one here. Um, and then you would just drop down. So, and you would create that audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that for now. Um, you can see, and then you can do lookalikes. Um, usually for us, we stay out of the special, special ad audience that sometimes has to do like the real estate people uh, I can't think of other, I've never my, myself personally had to mess with the special ad audience. Um, and I just want to show you how you could pop this ad in, or this uh, audience within an ad. So we came here. So we're in this new traffic campaign and we're in here. And then I already have, so let's say, I don't want to use this audience anymore, but I want to use the saved audience in here as well. I don't know why I'm trying to click it up there. So on custom audiences right here, you can see it's um, really um, already up at the top because we just recently did this. Um, and this will pop up because of the iOS update. Um, and I can go along, I'll, I can dive further into that as well as why that's popping up. But that's how you would put in an audience that you might've created in this page itself. Um, you could have also created that here, like I said earlier, and created that. So a couple of different ways on how to make an audience or create an audience. All right, so say you want to boost a post. 
Now, most of the time I, I'm not crazy about boosting posts, but sometimes this is beneficial, um, especially if you're trying to get like maybe engagement or you're trying to grow your ecosystem on Facebook. Um, and of course I'll make, be making videos on what I mean when I say Facebook ecosystem. So um, say we want to boost this post, um, just as an example, off the top of my head, trying to find an example. Um, so you're going to have all of these um, options here in I want to probably send it to a link. I probably have this link or, you know, you'll have your own link, but you know, your opt-in is or such. So then you come in here and you'd create the audience. Um, but do keep in mind that this will probably be more of like a conversion. Um, it doesn't really let you select an objective is what I'm trying to say. So your detailed targeting expansion will always be on. So it will water down the audience. So I wouldn't go so, like sometimes you can go with, the audience, like what their Facebook is guessing what your audience would be. To me, this is like really nothing that I'm interested in and I don't think any of my audience. So that wouldn't particularly work. Sometimes this is, this is great and it's good to test, but you can come down here, come in here and edit these audiences. And just like we did here, you know, you're gonna have your select your age, your gender, your location, and then detailed targeting. Um, this won't let you like you know, create um, an audience based off of your email um, list and such, but you can do it based off the Facebook page um, or people who like your page and their friends. So this is just like a look like. So people that like the Facebook page and look alike, those people look a lot like those people that like your page. So this is like a hot or this is a warm audience and a semi cold, semi warm, like they're in between kind of thing. They look a lot like people that are already interested in what you're doing. So that can be a really good option here. That's just one way you'd create an audience within the boost, but you can't um, create like your other warm audiences, like your email list or um, your website and such. I think you maybe I'll go after your pick. Nope. You can just do your page here. And you like, I don't like, if you have a really large Instagram following, you can't really select that here either. So, um, just kind of, just kind of, um, play around with that here, or you can even create new. And again, it's just like based off your detail targeting. You can't even like, if you've created an audience over here, you cannot put it inside of this. So this will mostly be detailed targeting and this will be where they expand it. So the audience will get a little colder. So you don't want to make this so large because it will get watered down a little bit or maybe even a lot depending. So, um, but there are benefits to running boost posts and I can go with those uh, again in later videos. So, but if you have any questions about creating an audience, where to create the audience, um, please let me know. Um, I know I jump around a little bit and I'm trying to get a little better at that, but there's just so many options within Facebook ads and how you can run things. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.